SCV, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the creepiest and deadliest plants and flowers in the world. And this is gonna blow your mind because while some of these are super rare to find, a lot of them are very common and might even be in your garden. So prepare to look at the world differently because I definitely did after doing research for this video. Alright guys, so before we get started, I just want to give you another reminder that we do have our Valentine's Day mystery boxes up on the website right now. I did do an unboxing in my previous two videos if you want to go and see what exactly is in the box. And don't forget these boxes do go pretty quickly because we do a smaller quantity for Valentine's Day so if you would like one before they're gone I have linked it down below. Valentine's Day is my birthday by the way so I do really love these boxes. Alright guys so let's get right into today's video talking about the first deadly flower. This one is called white snake root. At first glance it might seem super pretty. It blooms with white petals and bees and butterflies love it. It's also one of the last flowers in bloom before winter hits, but unfortunately, it's also incredibly deadly. Now, people found out how deadly it was back in the 1800s when settlers were moving into the US from Europe. Now, the settlers at the time didn't know it was dangerous and saw no issue with their animals eating it, but the Native American tribes knew exactly how deadly it was, but no one was listening to them. So what happened was when cows ate the snake root, they consumed a toxin that was transferred to their milk and those who drank the milk then got sick and died from what they called milk sickness. And the most famous victim of this milk sickness was actually Abraham Lincoln's mother. So yeah, don't let your animals eat this flower and don't eat this flower either. <laughs> Next we have the McAneel tree, also known as the tree of death. This tree seems harmless when you first see it. Even the apples growing on it look pretty tasty, but this is a tree that no one should ever stand under touch or even take a deep breath around. Now apparently every single part of this tree is deadly because it produces this milky sap that has a ton of dangerous toxins inside. Eating the fruit will set off a chain reaction of vomiting, diarrhea, and constriction of the throat. And touching any part of this tree will cause severe pain, inflammation, blistering. If that isn't fun enough, the toxin is water soluble. That means that anyone or anything that happens to be nearby when it rains is going to get a toxic shower. Now people who have tried to even burn this tree to get rid of it have been blinded by the toxic smoke that comes off of it and there's literally warning signs in forests about this tree and sometimes they even have to mark this tree with red paint so no one goes near it. So yeah, deadliest tree in the world. I'm gonna have trouble pronouncing this next one. It is called Dendrosnide morotis, also known as the stinging tree. For anyone who has ever wondered how badly could a stinging tree actually hurt? Well, people describe it as being burnt with hot acid and electrocuted at the same time. Now the leaves of this tree are covered in these tiny sharp hairs and at the tip of each hair is a little bulb that snaps off when it comes in contact with anything and inside that bulb is a toxin and this is where things get very ugly. The pain is apparently excruciating. There was a soldier in Australia in 1941 and after he touched this tree he was bedridden for three weeks. That was how much pain he was in. And he had a fellow officer who chose to use this leaf as toilet paper and he was in so much pain that he took his own life. Now these sharp hairs can also accidentally be inhaled which could give you either a massive nosebleed or if it gets into your lungs it would cause major damage to your respiratory system. So yeah, don't go near it, don't touch it, not good. Next we have a plant called doll's eye which is incredibly creepy to even look at. The plant knows known as doll's eye is incredibly creepy. It definitely looks like it has a bunch of little eyeballs growing on stalks, so it's not entirely surprising that they can definitely kill a person. Now this is found mostly in the southern US, and it's those creepy berries that are actually the most dangerous thing about this plant. They contain a cardiogenic compound, and as they ripen through the summer months, that compound becomes more and more potent. Anyone eating the berries will find themselves feeling their heart start to slow, and if you eat enough of the berries, your heart will actually stop. Now it might make sense to think that if you're lost in the woods and feeling pretty peckish, you might be able to get an idea about whether or not something is safe by watching the animals. But the thing is, the birds love these berries and nothing bad happens to them when they eat it. But when humans eat it, it's deadly. But that's just such a scary thing because in hiking manuals and stuff, it says if you're ever lost in the woods and you're hungry, you have no food, eat the stuff that the animals are eating. But in this case, you can't. Next we have have a Tropa 
Aqua Belladonna, also known as Deadly Nightshade. Now, Atropis is actually the third of the Greek fates and the one who cuts the string of life and decides when each person is gonna die. Folklore also says this plant is the property of the devil himself and anyone who insults him by eating some of the berries will pay the ultimate price. Now, the small, black, delicious looking berries can actually kill someone if they only eat a few of them. Eating any part of the plant will cause a whole bunch of nasty consequences that range from death to hallucinations and convulsions. Now, the plant also contains a group of psychoactive compounds, and back in history it was actually given names like Sorcerer's Pomade, and it's been purposefully ingested by people in search of visions and a spiritual awakening, but they usually die right after doing that, so what was the point? Next, we have Wolfsbane. Now, Wolfsbane shows up in countless works of fantasy and horror, and as far back as ancient Greece, this pretty bluish purple flower was connected with dogs. It was said to have been first sprouted from the drool of Cerberus, which was Hades' three-headed guardian. Now, strangely, it's not just werewolves that have a reaction to this flower, but it's incredibly deadly for people as well. Eating the leaves will cause severe sickness, but it's the roots that are the most toxic. If those are ingested, heart failure and death typically happen in just a few hours. Now, strangely enough, these plants are actually still super popular for people to plant in their gardens. And the scary thing is, it wasn't just found out that it has to be ingested to be toxic. It could be toxic just by touching it. In 2014, a gardener named Nathan Greenway died after handling the plant on his boss's estate. So he literally died just by planting a bunch of them, which is terrifying. And lastly, we have a flower called Angel's Trumpet. The chances of coming across Angel's Trumpet are pretty high because it's a popular plant that shows up in gardens across the southern US. They say the Angel's Trumpet actually contains a compound that is described as one of the world's scariest drugs. Specifically, it has something called scopalamine, and when it's inhaled, including when someone stops to smell the innocent looking flowers, it can cause hallucinations and a state of consciousness that involves the complete loss of free will. So this flower has been used in everything from kidnapping to convincing people to sign away their life savings. And that is why the street name for this flower is actually the devil's breath. And yes, a large enough dose of this flower can actually be fatal. So maybe you shouldn't always stop to smell the flowers. And the fact that it's completely legal to grow in most states is pretty shocking. So literally, you can be poisoned just by smelling this flower and people just have it in their gardens. Anyways, guys, those are all of the dangerous plants and flowers I'm gonna be talking about today. There are hundreds I could talk about. So if you want me to do a part two, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget, guys, if you would like one of the new Valentine's Day mystery boxes, I have linked it down below. But I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!